A lot of new real estate investors and wholesalers are completely torn between getting their license or not. In reality, it is a personal decision, but in today's video, I'm going to be sharing the downsides of getting your real estate license as a real estate investor or a wholesaler. Also, if you're new to the channel, my name's Justin Yerong, and I've helped hundreds of people make money in real estate. So this list of cons or downsides is not in any particular order, but the first thing I'm going to start with as a downside is investor and seller preferences. A lot of investors and a lot of sellers actually prefer not to work with realtors, believe it or not. And a big reason for this is because that they just had really bad experience with realtors and agents in the past. And I honestly can attest to this. What I've noticed is that a lot of the realtors are really bad when it comes to serving other real estate investors or serving wholesalers, wholesalers specifically. But if you're going to be a wholesaler yourself or you're going to be a real estate investor, just know that there are a lot of people out there, both sellers and other wholesalers and other investors who just hate agents and hate dealing with agents. And that's a common thing. So I have stories and I don't wanna tell these stories because these are real people of these other agents, but I just know that from experience, a lot of the agents are just not helpful at all. And I could understand why an investor or seller wouldn't wanna work with an agent. Just cause like so many people have been burnt in the past with agents that they're like, they're just completely done with them and they'd rather not work with a licensed person. That being said, there's like a whole other spectrum of people, sellers, and realtors or investors who do love working with realtors because they've had nothing but great experiences. So just understand like there's a pro and there's a con to that. And this is definitely not one of the biggest cons to getting your license, but that's just the first one I can think of. Now, the second downside is actually the time and the money commitment that's required in order to get your real estate license. So if you're watching this and you think getting your real estate license is easy, it's not that easy in general. I mean, you do have to do a lot of studying. You have to take certain classes and it takes a lot of time. Like, especially if you're a busy person, you have a full-time job. I remember when I got my real estate license, I was working full-time and I got my license and it was, it took me some time time because, you know, I was working 40 hours a week. I was working on my real estate stuff, like the investing, and I was studying to get my license. And so it took a serious amount of time to get it. Plus I had to pay for the materials and play, pay for the classes to get the license. And all in all, maybe it's at least a thousand bucks, maybe a couple thousand bucks of getting your license. Plus you have to pay these MLS dues or these fees, you know, twice a year. And it runs in like a couple hundred dollar range, at least in my area, California. Every state's different, I'm sure. But in general, you have to pay dues to maintain and be a real Plus you have to pay for all this education. You have all this time up front. And this is honestly probably one of the biggest downsides of getting your license is just, is it even worth it or not? If you're not prepared for this whole time commitment and the money commitment, don't even get it. Now, this is just my general opinion, but I would say to only get your license or plan to get your license if you actually plan to use it. If you're planning to actually represent buyers and sellers in the market, not just yourself when you come to flip houses, but actually represent other people to utilize your real estate license, then do it. But if you're not planning to do that, then don't get your license. It's just, it's just not worth the time, effort, and energy in my opinion. And the reason why I say this is if you're pursuing real estate investing, whether it's house flipping or buying rentals or wholesaling, if you're doing this kind of stuff full time, like the investing side, then anything else, it's going to distract you from focusing on this one thing. And this is something that I actually struggle with a lot. Back when I started as a real estate investor, I was an investor first. So I bought one rental property first, and then I wanted to learn everything that was about real estate because I wanted to become a better investor. I actually got my real estate license in the hopes that it would make me a better real estate investor. And in my honest opinion, it didn't help. I represented other buyers and sellers and I didn't learn much about the investing side as a realtor. I learned about it when I was trying to learn about real estate investing stuff and actually doing the stuff for real estate investing. If you're planning to get your license just to learn overall about real estate, like you're gonna learn just as much as an investor, if not more, especially if that's what you already wanna do. I think a common thing I see with new real estate investors is that they want something. I kind of see this with all entrepreneurs. They want something like they have this in their mind and they think they have to go learn this first to get here. When in reality, they can just go straight here and learn the investing right away. It might take longer. It might be more of a struggle. It might be scarier, but it's more efficient than trying to get your license to learn investing, then moving to investing. If this is what you really wanted, go do this. And I'm just giving you my opinion based on my experience because I honestly kind of regretted becoming an agent first. Although yes, I learned that I don't like it and which is a good thing to learn. I just wish I went to the real estate investing firsthand because I knew that's what I wanted to do. And I never needed to become an agent. The only reason why it would maybe make sense to get a license if you're actually gonna utilize it to represent buyers and sellers. So if not, don't get it in my opinion. It's just too big of a time and money commitment and 
then it takes you away from your main focus if investing is actually your full-time focus. The third downside to getting your license is actually all the disclosures you have to make as a realtor. Now, this is actually something I hear a lot on the internet about people saying like, oh, once you get your license, it's really hard to buy real estate as good deals, or it's really hard to be a wholesaler. And like, honestly, I don't think it's that much harder. I think the main differences for those people saying this kind of thing is that the people are saying sketchy stuff anyways, and they're being kind of sketchy, but like as a wholesaler, like the whole purpose of wholesaling, if you're not familiar, is to get a home under contract to buy, and then you're selling the contract to another investor and you make a profit as like the middleman. Now, a lot of people say that you can't do that legally as a realtor or as an agent, when in reality you can, you just have to be able to disclose well, you just have to be honest with people. And the people that say that you should not get your license as a wholesaler, it just makes me think that they're doing the wrong thing anyways. In my opinion, if you're gonna be wholesaling homes or even flipping houses, buying homes at really big discounts, just be really, really open and honest with people. Like be super honest with these sellers, don't take advantage of anyone like all the deals that I buy or wholesale like the sellers they know exactly what's going on they know that I'm getting this at a discount they're just willing to sell it to me because they trust me they don't need the money the only reason why they actually sell to me is because they really trust me and they don't need to have the most dollar value so they don't need to list their homes with a realtor they just want to get it sold right away they want it kind of hassle-free and they have a situation most likely where they have to sell it fast and so that's why they come to me that's why we work together and I'm usually pretty honest with sellers it's like why don't you just go with the realtor like you probably can get more for this like I'll say stuff like that and I'm honest because it really resonates with people when you're honest and I think that's how you should do business in the first place but a lot of people that say you have to disclose more as a realtor technically yes you do but even if you're not licensed you should still take the same approach this is a technical downside of having your license, like the fact that you had to disclose more as a wholesaler or real estate investor, but in my opinion, it's not that big of a deal. Honestly, just do good business, be good to people, don't lie. Like, simply put, don't lie. Also, if you want help to grow your real estate business, click on the link in the description, fill out the application, and someone from my team will reach out to you for a free strategy session. Peace.